What's up guys, welcome back to The Bro Show. In this week's episode, we're taking a look at Soma, a new sci-fi horror game which launches tomorrow. Bloodborne is getting its first DLC release and StarCraft II's third expansion, Legacy of the Void, now has a release date. How many of you guys know of or have played Amnesia? If you like these types of games, then I have good news for you. Soma, a game similar in style and gameplay to Amnesia, is being released tomorrow on Steam. And as a matter of fact, the same developers who developed Amnesia is developing Soma. Soma, in short, is an unsettling story about identity, consciousness, and what it means to be human. Imagine yourself in this situation. You are in an underwater facility. The radio is dead, your food supply is running out, and machines are all of a sudden starting to show signs of consciousness. And of course, danger lurks in every corner in shape of corrupted humans, twisted creatures, and an omnipresent hostile AI. You won't be able to fight back as that is utter suicide. Instead, you can either try to outsmart your enemies or simply run. So yeah, that sounds rather unpleasant. So how about, nope, I'm not doing it. But if you want to do it, you freak, then I'm sure you are in for a treat. The graphics looks pretty cool, the sound is cool and immersive, and hopefully the story will be as well. We don't know that yet, obviously, but I think you'll be in for a treat if you like this kind of game. You're a freak. You're weird. Next up, if you played and enjoyed Bloodborne on your PS4, then you'll most likely be happy to hear that there's some DLC coming out, The Old Hunters. This will be the first DLC and apparently also the last DLC for Bloodborne. In this upcoming DLC, you get to experience the nightmare of the hunters who once guarded Bergenworth's deepest, darkest secrets and uncover the mystery behind Yaman's sinister past. These names, man, you're not making it easy for a YouTuber. Through this, you will gain access to a network of vast underground ruins filled with traps, beasts and rewards to explore and conquer. This also includes new outfits and weapons to add to your hunter arsenal and hunting down new dangerous bosses, of course. Unfortunately, I don't myself have a PS4, so I won't be able to play this game. And maybe it's a good thing, because I really fucking hate dying in games. And if, you, if there's one thing you do in Bloodborne, it's dying, so maybe it's for the best. Next up, StarCraft 2's third expansion, Legacy of the Void, is soon to be released, more specifically, at least according to Polygon, on November the 10th. The single player part of this expansion will focus on the Protoss race. The creature Aemon will be the primary antagonist of the story, with the good old Jim Raynor and Sarah Kerrigan playing smaller parts in the story as well. Gameplay wise, it has been made so that the single player campaign will contain elements of diplomacy. I always love diplomacy in games, it's so nice when you actually have to choose something and it matters. And this is exactly what you need to do in StarCraft Legacy of the Void. Because you, as the player, will work with different Protoss tribes, which will help them gain allies and advance the plot, but at the same time making them enemies with other tribes. For instance, using units from one side may preclude using units from the other side, and alienating one or another sect may cut the player off from part of the campaign. And as with any other StarCraft expansion, you can of course also expect new units, upgrades, new multiplayer modes, and so on. I'm really looking forward to this, guys. I used to play StarCraft 1 and 2 on a fairly high level, but it, in the end it simply got too stressful for me. I got that, you know, what do you call it, ladder anxiety. And I just had to give it up. Now I'm just looking forward to the campaigns and experiencing the awesome stories that Blizzard is really good at presenting in these games. And this one especially I'm looking forward to because the Protoss has always been my favorite race. Yes, that's racism for you. And that's it for this week's show, guys. Before we end, I want to know, you guys who play Amnesia, Outlast, Soma, what's your motivation? Do you actually enjoy these games? I fucking hate these games. They make me feel really, really uncomfortable. And also with Legacy of the Void being released the same day as Fallout 4 and Rise of the Tomb Raider, what are you guys going to pick up and play first? I can imagine for some of you guys this is going to be a tough choice. For me, it's rather easy. I'll be playing Fallout 4. I can always play Legacy of the Void later and Rise of the Tomb Raider sounds fun, but I don't think I'll be playing it. But Fallout 4 guys and Legacy of the Void. Anyway, remember to subscribe for more gaming news. Thank you for watching and bros, do you even nerd?